Good morning everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, mabulokong bagong tuig sa tanan. No? Bisaya kayo gayo. Happy New Year everyone and uh, last year, no? Last year na bisag last week pa no. Last year what we talk about is welcoming 2021 and uh, this is going to be the part 2 welcoming 2021 part 2. No, and uh, 2020, our declaration was it's going to be our year of completion. And we believe na, no, God worked in a way you know, we cannot see. And uh, God still completed no, a lot of things sa atong matag sa kakinabuhi. And if I'm going to give you an opportunity to testify on the goodness of God, on how He worked in your life, even during quarantine, I believe, daghan kay mo kay istorya. So this, uh, the, the 2020 was still our year of completion. And padayon gigihapon, nagapamuhat ang ginoo. Our claim is Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. On sa ingon sa Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Ingon si Paul, And I am certain that God, who began a good work within you, will continue His work until it's finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Can you believe that? Or do you believe that? No, ako personally, I believe that that God is going to continually work. He is going to complete what He has started in us. What He has begun in us, He will, he will uh, continue to work into completion. No, uh, He is continually working. Though our declaration, ang year 2020 is no year of completion. Padayon gud gihapon nagapamuhat ang Ginoo sa atong matagos sa kinabuhi and he will continue to do so in this year 2021. Amen. Kinsay excited sa 2021 buhaton sa Ginoo. No, there will be still no challenges are inevitable. Inato na malikayan, there will always be challenges. Uh, there is a new strain of the virus. No, so what's ahead is still a bit uh, blurry. What is ahead is uh, still a bit uncertain but what is certain is God's grace and God's love and God's power sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi no so how last week nagisgota of how we should welcome 2021 and we talk about revisiting our goals we talk about no resolving to be intentional no and then resisting distractions today we are going to focus on the aspects where no we need to focus on unsa may mga butang atong dapat tutukan garong 2021 no aron mahimot ang magmalambuon aron mahimot may masinati nato ang ang pinakamaayo gikan sa Ginoo because God always has I've always said this no God always has his best interest uh, no at heart our best interest at heart nagid sa kanunay no sa iyang kasing-kasing ang pinakamaayo alang nato no and uh, i believe that uh, as we claim tw that 2020 is our year of com completion god is still continuing to complete what he has started in us amen no 2021 is a year wherein we can experience god's best amen 2020 was challenging it was different it was a bit difficult for many of us, but God has brought us through. No, God has brought us to this moment. So this is a, a milestone for all of us. No, this is victory for all of us. No, pasalamat sa Ginoo that He has brought us. No, He has given us another year sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi. So there is always a new beginning diya sa Ginoo. Amen. No, 2021 is the year of giving our best to the Lord. No, it's our year of excellence. No, it's our year of excellence. It's our year of giving our best to the Lord. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, or Jesus, it, actually it was Jesus who said this. And you will be, no, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses. Ingon sa mga disciples, you will be my witnesses. No? We are going to be God's witnesses. We are going to be testimonies of God's wonderful acts and power. 2021, we are going to be testimonies, a display center of the glory of God. 
and the power of God. Let us display God's best this year. Amen? Let us declare, 2021 is our year of excellence. It is our year to be God's best, to experience God's best and to be, no, to, to excel the Asagino and uh, to be the best version of ourselves, to bring, no, to bring our God the glory and to be a platform for God's wisdom, power, and love. No, pinaagi sa itong matagos sa kakinabuhi. Kaya ang ginuugod pag siya ang work, if God works, the moment God works, it's always excellent. You believe that? Amen? The author of excellence is God. Ang standard of excellence is God. Whenever He does something, it's always excellent. Even the creation, if you're gonna you know, look back at creation and how He created the universe, the galaxies, the earth. The earth is just but a small you know, part of, of the creation of God. And yet we you know we, we see the beauty and the excellence of how God created everything. And the Bible says everything that he created is good. But ibasabot when God does something dili sa substandard. When God some, does something sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi, it's always excellent. Amen? No? It's always excellent. Dili substandard ang ang Ginoo kung say mamuhat. Amen? He is the source of everything that is excellent. So, we too should build a habit of excellence in our lives, in everything we do. Especially, you know, Karun Nga 2020 is, I believe, you know, because it's the beginning of a decade, we have been uh, declaring that 2020 is the beginning of a decade. And God has built us foundations. You no, know, God... No, 2020 is God's foundation for us. Laum laum gud ang gibuhat sa Ginoo. No, laum laum gud ang gibuhat sa Ginoo nga foundation sa atong matagos nga kinabuhi. He developed us as a church. Instead of going to church, we become the church. Amen. No, we become the church in our houses, in our office, no, in our, our workplaces. We have become the church, no, wherever we are, kay dili naman tan. You don't just go to church, you become the church. So 2020, na exercise na to, no, and in God has brought together families, ano man, di man kagawas, okay? So there are still a lot of greater things na gibuhat ang Ginoo sa 2020, but I believe it's the foundation na gibuhat sa Ginoo. And 2021 is the the the, the start of a, a better and brighter nga, nga, nga kinabuhi nga giandam sa Ginoo with challenges, with tribulation. <laughs> Amen? No? So, <clears throat> let's declare that, no? So, ingon nga, uh, God is the source of everything that is excellent. Let us also develop a habit of excellence sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi. No? Let us do everything for the glory of God. Ingon ng Colossians uh, chapter 3, verse 23. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. In everything, whether you exercise, whether you do, you go to work, you do business, you have a client's meeting, no, you have a cell group in everything you do, let us do it for God and let us, let us do it with excellence. Let us welcome 2021 with excellence, my brothers and sisters. Are you ready? <laughs> Ready na ta sa atong hisgutan karon nga buntag ang mga aspeto no welcoming 2021 part 2 <laughs> We are gonna talk about aspects that are no that that we are to be excellent at this 2021 No ready na ta Let's pray Lord we thank you for this morning we thank you for another year 2021 has already come and we are excited for for the things that you are about to do, God, uh, you, we thank you for creating new years. It, it gives us hope for a, 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 a better tomorrow, a fresh start, a new beginning. Salamat, Ginoo. And we dedicate this time to you. May you minister to us. May you speak to us through your word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 
In everything, uh, magsugod ganita, importante good before you start, you have to have a vision. No? You have to envision something in order for it to happen. Everything starts with just a vision. No? Internet started with a vision. No? Uh, microphone started with a vision. A uh, wireless, kining mga wireless na nato karon. It started with a vision. Somebody thought about it. Somebody imagined about it. They created nila si ilang hunahuna. They visualized nila, and it came to pass. I believe natay gustong mahitabo, no? This 2021, as we have said in in last week, no, we have to resist distractions by being disciplined. We have to have no a resolve to to be intentional. Sa atong matagos ka kinabuhi. No, we have to have vision, and we have to stick to that vision that God has for us. So visualize na to unsay gusto mo, may tabo na to. Mo na nga karon nga buntag. Iskuta na to mga butang nga importante mga aspeto sa atong kinabuhi that we are to be excellent at. So butangan ni na to excellence kini mga butang nga. Amen. Kini mga butang nga tong iskuta nga karon dapat dun no magimprove tani no mo excel tani mga butang nga. In order for us to grow in the Lord and to be excellent this year, masinati nato that this is indeed a year of excellence. Kaya kung wala kita buhaton, no, kung dili ta intentional, kung wala ta vision of 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 the things that God has for us, wala kita mahita bo. Sigur tag, wa, no, me and my joa, wa, wa ko igihimo, wa, no. Wa gyoy nahita bo. Wa unsay resulta. Wa no. Wa resulta. Ngano man naigibuhat. Wa <laughs> right. So we have to visualize. We have to to see things before uh, it can be birth. We have to conceive something in order for it to be birth. So unsa may atong dapat butangan o excellence. No, these aspects are the things that we are to be excellent at this 2021. No, magambag ambag tag verse. No, ani. First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirty one. No, this is I believe related sa sa Colossians three twenty three kaganina. And so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. In everything, do it for the glory of God. In everything we do, it shall it should be for God's glory. Life is not measured by how much you own. Life is not measured by how people or how influential you are. Life is measured by the life that we have given to the Lord. Life is measured by our alignments and intentions. You know, life is measured of how aligned are we sa sa purposes. You know, sa tao matagal ko sa kinabuhi. No, Colossians chapter one verse twenty eight says. So we tell others, ingon si Paul about Christ, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom God has given us. We want to present them to God perfect. Ing na mong tapad ka perfect, oy. Perfect in their relationship to Christ. Ang goal di ay no ni Paul ingon siya ang ang rason nga nung no we tell others about Christ and we are warning and teaching everyone with all wisdom that comes from God is that we want to present them perfect we want to present them to God perfect in the relationship with God money number 1 nga tagaan nato pagtagad no karon nga tuig number 1 valuing spiritual health valuing spiritual health dapat ginavalue nato ang atong health spiritually. Amen? This year, let us put an effort in building our spiritual life. No? So, karun nga, nga mga panahon, as we begin the year, let us evaluate our spiritual condition. Kumusta ka spiritually? No? Kumusta ang imong relationship sa ginoo? Again, di na to pwedeng ma-blame ang ko ano eh. Di na to pwedeng ma-blame ang COVID nga wala, no. Wala na tay basa basag Bible kay nag COVID. Nanara man kas balay, no. Most of us, no. So, naagyon untay panahon. Ang problema lang wala lang yung intention. 
Amen. So let us value no spiritual spiritual health. Ang uban mingon sila ah magunsa man ang no spiritual health niya no walay puan sa pamilya. I'm I'm telling you dili man good ta pwedeng no. Uh, mo, uh, let me say this most of those who have been engaged in in giving values ilang spiritual health are also the people nga maayo mo dala sa sa pamilya and growing dia sa ilang relationship sa family no kay pwede man gong religious kay ka nahimo na nong gang religious ka ayo sa or, or or dogmatic ka ayo sa sa no dapat mao gyud ni dapat mao gyud ni no dapat gina value nato atong spiritual health amen so atong pag spend time sa Ginoo atong pagbasa sa word paghatag og panahon sa Ginoo spending time in prayer spending time in fellowship spending time sa cell no ministering to one another let us value our spiritual health let us be healthy spiritually amen this year atong himuong commitment no to value spiritual health so uh, again pwede tang uh, sa pagkakaroon online lang sa no pero we can we can still be nourished so let us be no let us nourish ourselves spiritually Atong yung inurture atong gogalingon spiritually. Amen. So we have to have no spiritual kon we have to have value no sa atong spiritual health. Amen. Our goal is to keep growing in our relationship with Christ or with our relationship with God. Ingon si Paul ang atong goal is to no ang ingon siya as a leader as a pastor as a, a missionary as a church planter. My goal to you, my dear brothers and sisters, is to present you perfect in your relationship with God. Kana ba excellence? No. Excellent tas ato relationship sa gino. Gina value na to ang atong spiritual health. Amen. Moi pinakauna na to dapat taga ag pagtagad. No. So valuing no spiritual health dapat gina value na to. Ang atong pagtubo niya sa Ginoo, atong relationship sa Ginoo. So, kung maghimo ka ng New Year's resolution, or kung naghimo na ka, or maghimo pa ka, maayo mang yapo na, maghimo ka ng New Year's resolution. No? Goals ni mo for this year. I-appeal yun ang aspeto sa pagpatubo sa imong relationship sa Ginoo. Pag-strengthen sa imong spiritual health. So, unsa imong mga anging buhaton. Amen? Number two. Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. Ingon diri Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and high officers because of Daniel's great ability the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. Ingon diha Daniel proved himself to be capable. He proved himself to be capable meaning no he he kept improving himself he kept developing himself no so dapat balance ang atong ginabuhi and uh, ang atong pananaon karon nga nga tuig igsuon as we welcome the year of excellence in order to be excellent sa atong ginabuhi and experience God's best and to become God's best this year no let us value no our spiritual health and number two, improving yourself so unsa tong una valuing spiritual health number number two, improving yourself we need to improve ourselves daniel prove himself to be unsa ni to be capable to be more com- capable than others so improve yourself improve your personality question is are you admirable and attractive to people Pili lang physical, no, not just physical nga admiration, but the kind of admiration that people would want and, and, and love to spend time with you. That you are a go-to person for wisdom. You are a go-to person for advices. You are a go-to person sa kanang, no, doon na sila'y mga struggles kinabuhi. Kung dili lang struggle, kung dili, no, ganahan bitaw sila mo spend time si mo, ha? Amen? Improve yourself. 
ako ay I, I still have to work that out too. No? Kay usahay kung maabot ko managan ang mga tao. <laughs> no? <laughs> Sayang ining mga bata gani eh, ipanginadlok si Pastor Jung. Ala, na si Pastor Jung dia. Muna nga inikabot ni Pastor Jung, lost pa daw mga bata. Apil ilaga god si Pastor Jung na ipanginadlok. <laughs> no? We have to improve ourselves. Improve yourself this year. No? Work on it. Be excellent sa imong sa imong life, sa imong self, pag improve sa imong kaugalingon, improve sa imong communication skills, improve no sa imong pag-relate sa uban, no? You have that admirable personality. Amen. No, so improving yourself is important as we welcome this year. These are aspects that we are to be excellent at. Pag-improve sa atong kaugalingon. Amen. Read books. Amen. No. Or or kung di ka ganahang basa, paminaw. No, paminaw og mga kuan, no. Ay, sige, paminaw ana mga mga junk. Oo. Uh-huh. Ambot lang bitaw ngano, ngano bitaw og kanang salida nga series, grabe ta makahatag og panahon. No, mga oh, mga unsa pa nang mga salida, mga Bagoron, mga mangga, mga mga opa, no? May kita, grabe o, oh, Korean novela o. Oh. May kita mo, hatag o panahon, alos mabuntagan gani. Pero, pag yung kang improving yourself, really admirable, no? So, let us become like Daniel. No, he is a go-to person or, no? For the king to to have no more ideas, no every time maginang lag idea, maginang lag wisdom and ang king he would go to Daniel. Amen. So improve na to atong 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 self, atong personality. By by saying improving yourself, I'm I'm saying we have to improve our personality. We have to develop ourselves. We have to improve ourselves. No. The way we communicate, the way we relate to people. No. Introvert ko, no. Na po yung extrovert po kayo. No, it, 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 improve it. No. Kung extrovert ra po kayo ka, pag improve nga magkat-on po ka gilom-hilom sa panahon nga dapat maghilom. Kaya nga ba, ang introvert ra may sige na to ingno, no, 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 open up po. Usahay kining mga extrovert po, di po na to ingno nga paghilom po panagsa. <laughs> No. <laughs> Improving ourselves meaning dapat do not balance. Amen. Hello. So sa tong una, valuing spiritual health. Number two, improving yourself. Number three, the number three, strong family relationships. Strong family relationships. So dapat strengthen na to atong atong family relationship these are things that dapat ma, no we are we are excellent at maayo ta dapat in, in in having no strong family relationships ingon si Joshua no sa verse 15 sa Joshua uh, chapter 24 no as he dealt with the people of Israel ingon siya, choose today whom you will serve either the gods of the Amorites in, the, in whose land you now live but ingon siya as for me and my family we will serve the Lord Joshua declared, as for me and my family, we are going to serve the Lord. It is always God's desire to bring families together. He is concerned with families. Amen. Let us strengthen our relationships with family this year. Amen. No, strengthen nato atong relationships sa matagosa ka mimbro sa panimalay, matagosa ka mimbro sa pamilya. So apil ni sa atong himuong goal, dili lang ang atong pag-value sa sa atong spiritual health, dili lang ang pag-improve sa atong self, no? Kung dili apil ana ang 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 paghat, ang pag-strengthen nato sa atong relationship sa family. Amen. Ingon ang Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 to 15. For this reason, ingon si Paul, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Ingon siya, NIV ni nga version, 
Ingun sa every family, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Every family on heaven and earth derives its name from God. Meaning, no, God created families and it's, it's God who, who, who desired for families to grow stronger. Amen? He revealed himself as a father. There are, no, no, there are verses in the Bible that he reveals himself to his people as a mother. No, he, he, he cares for us and in, 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 he displayed himself in a way that we could relate to. He uses family image no, to reveal himself to us. This year, let us desire and let us, no, kanang atong tinguhaon to strengthen our family relationships. Pero timan na to, strong family, strong family relationship don't just happen. We have to work it out. Ilip man tamo yung nag-desire yun ko to strengthen our family, pero kusog kay ka magsupak-supak sa imong bana. No? Desire yun ko mag-strengthen akong family relationship, o niya, kusog kay ka maning ka sa imong asawa. No? Kusog kay ka magtubag-tubag sa imong ginikanan. O niya, imong kasukan ang hugas platura. No? Kay gaduwa ba kag ML? Probably siya. No? We have to have a strong family relationship. Apil na sa atong taga-focus ang atong i-envision karon nga tuig igzoon. Amen. Again, strong family relationship don't just happen. It's a result of of effort. It's a result of work, uh, working hard to to bond and to strengthen that family. Kaya may no, wa may perfect ng family. Mat pwede siyang mag-grow. Pwede mas strengthen ang atong relationship. So, for children, honor your parents. Honor your parents. Bring honor to them. Honor them. Pabati sa ilahang, they are honored in the house. They are honored in, in the home. They are honored in the family. Amen? For wives, submit to your husband. Submit. Huwag mawala sa imo mo submit ka. Huwag mawala sa imo maminaw ka. No. Hello. For husbands, lead the family. Love your family as God called you to be. Amen. Strong family relationships. Let us make that this our goal. Karon nga kuan mo na yatong vision karon nga tuig. No. Let us strengthen our family relationships. Let us not be the cause of the ruin of our families. No, nga kita hinungdan nga nung maguba ang pamilya. Amen? Take note, ani. Proverbs 11.29. Kanang first nga sentence. Or, or butangan na itong A. No, kaya doon mo na sentence. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 29a. Ingundri, those who bring trouble on their families inherit the wind. NIV says, those who ruin their families inherit the wind. Ang imo ko nung mapanunod, hangin. <laughs> Nindot kayo, no? Ang imong, ang imong, imong mapanunod kung if you cause ruin sa family, if you cause trouble to the family, what you will inherit is a wind. Meaning, when you bring ruin to your family, you will end up with nothing. You will inherit the wind. You will end up with nothing tangible that can satisfy your desire. Amen? So, akong challenge sa Matagosa, my dear family, blessed of family, let us aim to strengthen atong itagaag excellence. Let us excel in this strong family relationships. Amen? Sa iyo na, valuing no spiritual health number two. unsa tong unsa tong number two? let us no uh, wala ko na mental block ko no improve ourselves no let us improve ourselves improving yourself number three, no strong family relationships no and number four, 
no? Intentional growth in ministry. Intentional growth in ministry. Meaning, dili lang puro ko ano. Dili lang puro ko ano lang po ka, improving yourself. Puro na lang po ka, uh, na, strong family relationships. Yan, dili na ni mo apelo ng ministry. You have to grow in ministry. No? Atong gisgutan last week sa verse 26 sa chapter 9, 1 Corinthians. Si ang ingon, ingon si Paul, I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. No? Dapat intentional ta in, in, in growing our ministry. In growing the ministry, God has entrusted us. Nga naman, our being a disciple doesn't stop when we are experiencing challenges, we are facing challenges. Nga naman, no niundang day ay mong pagka-disciple sa dihang namabdos ka. Or, ni undang da imong pagka-disciple sa dihang ga-improve ka sa imong business. Ni undang da imong pagka-disciple ni Jesus sa dihang na-hire ka sa trabaho. Wala man. Right? Let us, ang, ang kulang las is intention. Mura lagi, no? Sa katong, ang giingon pa na ako ganina, wala intention. Manang, wa! Why nahitabo? Nga naman, wa! Why gibuhat? Hello? Right? Let us be intentional. No? Intentional growth in ministry. Tagaan ta nagbili. Amen? Let us grow in, in, let us grow the ministry God entrusted us as part of, of living in excellence for God. Ingon sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Ingon si Paul, So we are Christ ambassadors. God is making His appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. We are, no, we speak for Christ. We are ambassadors of God. When we plead, come, when we plead to the people, come back to God. When we preach the gospel, when we grow the ministry God entrusted us, we are living as ambassadors of Christ. Amen. So, dili na ito pwede i-lay aside ang ministry. Dili na ito pwede i-lay aside nga. Di na lang ko mag-training, di na lang ko mag-cell group, di na ko mag Dili na ito pwede na i-lay aside. We have to be intentional in growing, not only improving ourselves, but also growing the ministry that God has entrusted us. Amen? Number five. Say number five. No. So to number one, no, value, spiritual health. Number two, improving yourself. Tagaan na to ng bili, ang improving yourself. Number three, strong family relationships. Number four, no, uh, intentional um, min- gro- growth in the ministry. No, number five, optimum career. No, optimum career. On some ning optimum. May kag optimum ka ng, uh, what is excellent, what is desired. No, ang katong ideal, no? Meaning, ang atong career is growing, it's thriving. And dili na siya mahitabo if we are not being uh, diligent and competent no, sa atong matagos sa kakarir. Importante na, how can you be effective sa ministry no, kung wala tay, no, dili po ta diligent sa atong atong mga career. So optimum career. Ingon sa Proverbs 22 verse 29. Do you see a truly compet- do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. Competent workers. A man who excels in his work will be promoted to a position of honor. No, let us no have this this thriving career, this this optimum career, this ideal nga career, nga makatabang sa ito. Bisan, buta ko ipasabot. The point I'm trying to make is, let us display God's excellence. Let us display God's best. Let us be, no, a platform for God's glory to shine even in our careers, even in our workplaces, in the ministry, in the business world. Let us showcase God's glory. Amen? So, we will, no, 
let us be like like Joseph, Moses, Daniel, Nehemiah, and many others who will who were able to influence kings and rulers because of their diligence. Amen. Optimum career is not achieved overnight. It's not automatic, but rather it requires hard work and diligence in your craft. It requires integrity. Amen. So unsay trabaho ni mo karon, unsay negosyo ni mo karon, ipagrow na for God's glory. Amen. Do your best for God's glory. Karon nga tuig, no? There will still be limitations, there will still be challenges, but hey, no? We can do our best. We can be diligent. We can be competent. Sa field ng gibutang tas gino. Amen. So be excellent in in your workplaces, in your field of work or business, that we, you may display the glory of God in the marketplace. We make it. We we need to make it our goal to have a thriving career. Let us be diligent. Let us be skilled and excellent in our field of work. Amen. Let us do that. Amen. So, in all this, no, in all this, as we strive to value our spiritual health, as we improve ourselves, as we strengthen our family relationships, and as we no intend to grow the ministry, and as we thrive to 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 be excellent pod sa atong workplaces sa careers nga gihatag sa Ginoo challenges are inevitable problems will be there <laughs> limitations will be there negative people will be there oppositions will be there unsay angay na tong buhaton ingon si Paul sa 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 That is why we never give up. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that far that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Last na tong buhaton and mag-improve po tani, mag-excel tani, never giving up. Never giving up. Kaysa tinuod lang igsoon, as you value, no, as you value your spiritual health, and as you improve yourself, as you, no, strengthen family uh, relationship, no, as you, uh, in, intend to, to grow in the ministry, and as you thrive to, 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 No, and, and be di- diligent sa career ng gihatag sa gino, of this optimum career ng gihatag sa gino. If, if, if you are in, in that line, kung tinguhaon ta ning tanan, nga mahimot ang excellent ani, the, naagi mga challenges, naagi mga problema sa unahan, this year, this will still be a challenging year. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Even if we nag-declare that this is going to be a year of excellence, there will still be challenges. And that is inevitable. But, Let us also grow in this aspect to never give up. Never giving up. Never give up on your no on your relationship sa Ginoo. Never give up sa im- pag-improve sa imong self. Never give up sa pag-strengthen sa imong family relationship. Never give up sa imong wife, never give up sa imong husband, never give up sa imong children, sa imong no sa imong parents, never give up. Never give up sa paggrow, no? Natay mga failures, netless, no? Natay mga gipanghimong goals in the past nga wala na to na, 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 na reach but never give up in growing the ministry that God has entrusted you. Never give up sa sa pag pagpadayon, pag thrive sa career nga gihatag sa Ginoo sa sa imo ha. Never give up. Find strength No. Diha sige no. Allow the Holy Spirit to renew you every day. Allow your spirit to be renewed by God every day. Kay kana mga challenges mula bayra na pero do na nay resulta. Amen. Magresolve na og something greater sa imong kinabuhi. That will 
vastly outweigh. No? It will vastly outweigh the, 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 the challenges. Ang resulta, no, mas dako kaysa imong ginagyan. And it will last forever. Amen? So as we welcome 2021 and prepare for 2021, let this be our vision. 2021 is our year of excellence. Let us excel in these areas. We are going to face challenges, but God is with us. Amen? Muna nga, igsuon, lahutay diya sa ginoo, padayon diya sa ginoo. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 says, So don't we... We don't look at troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. Vision. Fix your gaze on things that cannot be seen. The troubles you see are momentary. It will not last. Pero ang giandam sa ginoo sa imo will last forever. Suwig soon, karun nga buntag, karun nga unto. I challenge you to make it your vision. Put excellence no? sa paghitahatag ni mong bili sa imong spiritual health. So evaluate karon asa ka spiritually. Kumusta imong spiritual health? No? Move on na ta. Move on. Up. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let us improve ourselves. Let us strengthen our family relationship. Ayo give up sa pamilya. Ayo give up sa mga asawa. Ayo give up sa mga bana. Ayo give up sa mga anak. Ayo give up sa mga ginikana. Pray for them. No. Seek sa ginoo. Apil ni sa atong strength. Be intentional sa ministry. Isalig sa Ginoo. Be diligent sa trabaho ng giintras sa Ginoo, sa karir ng giintras sa Ginoo sa imo. And never give up. Amen. Let us get excited for 2021. Amen. Let us welcome 2021 with faith that God still has greater things in store for us. This is our year of excellence. Amen. Let us just come before God's presence this morning and let us make a commitment. The Lord, tagaan ko nagbiling ang mga aspeto sa akong kinabuhi. I will excel in these areas. I will improve in these areas. I will be intentional in these areas, O God. Hallelujah. Kining tanan ginoo kawang kung wala ka. Kining tanan kawang. These are all in vain and this will... J- remain just the same ang among kinabuhi magpabilin nga mo ragi hapon kung wala ka sa among kinabuhi Lord we need you we declare we need you we confess that we need you not only today but in every moment sa among kinabuhi we need you Masa Lord I pray for everyone watching this video that you will just empower them as we Look forward for this year, 2021. We are excited for the things that you are about to do sa among mga tagos sa kinabuhi. Lord, as a church, bless your people. Work sa imong katawahan, Gino. And continue to, to, to show us your glory and your power. Allow us to be more sensitive sa imong ginabuhat sa among mga tagos sa kinabuhi, Gino. This year, We are going to experience your best and we will be doing our best and living our best for you, God. This is our year of excellence. We bless your name. We give you glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
maayong udto sa tanan once again happy new year this is another year no and uh, i'm i'm challenging those who are who have watched this video no uh, uh, first time second time or third time nimo mong tanaw connect to us no uh, if you have inquiries no uh, don't hesitate to message us and uh, we are we would love to to uh, connect with you and uh, kung doon na kay mga pangutana certain uh, things no about the bible about some areas nga gusto ni mong inquire no we will be uh, in touch with you just send us a message and uh, mo reply mi sa imo no and uh, follow us on our social media accounts which is flashed in your screen karon and uh, padayon ta de sa Ginoo no kini nga mga aspeto tong gisgutan no apil ni tanan no of course these are this involve the five priorities in life na bantayan ninyo no god self family no ministry and atong career no and out of those things nine number six, di ta mo give up amen so god bless you maayong udto sa tanan uh, blessed of christian fellowship magkita ta in a while sa zoom before your groupings god bless you all